First at noon, a holiday tragedy. Two people are dead after a car plunges into a lake near Fort Lauderdale. One person made it out of the vehicle and was transported to the hospital. But a fourth person in the car remains unaccounted for. CBS 4's Silva Haripedian is live at the scene where rescue crews are still searching for that victim. Silva. Well, actually, they say they're going to be continuing to watch this lake to see if they can find that fourth victim. We just got an update from BSO of that information. I want to show you the scene here. Take a look. This car was going so fast, it crashed through this chain link fence and through a second chain link fence right uh, on the other side of this field and flew straight into the water. At this time, investigators trying to figure out just what happened. Exclusive security video captures the moments before a deadly crash off of Northwest 14th Street and Northwest 29th Avenue. Keontae Myers and his friend, along with two women, hung out at this market down the street from the scene of the crash. The clerk remembers seeing them. They be driving around the neighborhood crazy, fast. They don't, they don't stop when they make the turn. They, they be going fast down this neighborhood, and everybody always makes a complaint to the cops. At 4.41 in the morning, you see the red Jaguar pulling off. It didn't stop. I see no brake light. These neighbors sitting outside say the car was going over 100 miles an hour. It crashed through the fence and launched into the lake. They hit up the man screaming from over this, on this side. We hurry up and came on the side. Through the, through the water holes in. But it's like, where you at? Where you at? Hurry up and come in. We like it's deep. I'm coming in deep enough that I could. Through the rope, he area up and got it. We grabbed him in, put him on the shore on the bank. Neighbors saved the driver. Family confirms it's Keontae Myers. You see him arriving here at Broward Health. Family, you think I'm lying? Family, you see? No. Look at my shoe. That's still wet. Neighbors also say BSO arrived quickly, but rescue crews, they say, were too late to help. Then the police arrived and they couldn't get in the water because they had all this gear on. I, I, I don't understand. Three lives in jeopardy, and you can't get in the water? We could have made a human chain or something. They refused to get in the water and then told us to get away. It was almost an hour before they got any rescue here. An hour, they're gone. It's on-call personnel, so just like when you're not working and you're home doing your things, uh, then you receive a call that you have to all of a sudden come into work. That's the same way that it works. Um, again, I don't have the exact response times of when people got out here. With daylight, word spread. Family and friends gathered, heartbreak, hope, and prayer. This as officials pulled out two bodies and possibly a third still in the car. And back here live, BSO uh, just confirmed for us that they've actually only recovered two bodies and they're still looking for the third. I can tell you the owner of this lot tells us that this is not the first time a car has crashed through the chain link fence. He says this is the fifth time, although this is the first time a car has ended up in the water. Also, one more thing, we're told that driver was treated and released from the hospital. As for why it took so long, uh, BSO tells us that this is waters that's very deep, very treacherous. In fact, seaweed eight feet tall. So it took them a while to actually locate the car. This investigation will be ongoing. We'll, of course, have the very latest for you at 5 and 6. We're live. Silva Harapetti on CBS 4 News.